The late Devonian fossil Acanthostega is a tetrapod and has a number of advanced features not found in any Sarcopterygian fish. It possesses multi-jointed digits. The shape of its limb and girdle bones were advanced. It lost some opercular bones and the lateral rostral bone of the skull. It possessed a longer snout. Its eye position had been modified. And with the modification of the eyes, apparently, were a lacrimal gland and ducts, the retractor bulbi muscle, and the hyomandibula had become the stapes. These are all advanced features of acanthostega. Although Acanthostega is a tetrapod, an amphibian, it possessed a number of primitive features which are not known in any modern amphibian, but which were present in the Sarcopterygian uh, fish from which Acanthostega evolved. For example, the presence of internal gills is inferred from the presence of opercular bones and uh, gill supports. There was the opening for the notochord in the back of the skull. As a result, the neck was not very mobile. Uh, the anoclythrum was present, uh, as well as a primitive brain case. The skull possessed grooves for a lateral line system, a sensory system which fish used. The ear was primitive in some respects. Very significantly, there was no sacrum. There was no attachment be uh, between the vertebrae and the hip. As a result, the legs were not able to support the body's weight on land. There was no ankle joint. Uh, there were, while there were multi-jointed digits, there were eight digits. Uh, the tetrapod uh, number of five had not yet uh, evolved. There were dermal tail rods, bones in the tail, which would have made um, locomotion on land uh, less likely. Uh, Acanthostega probably spent a great deal of time in the water. Uh, Canthostega and many uh, early uh, tetrapods had fish-like scales on their undersides. So even though they were amphibians, they uh, retained uh, fish-like scales uh, over uh, their chest. The notochord was the primary axial support rod. While there were pieces of vertebrae, uh, they were not fused to each other, nor did they fuse across the midline, except for the first one, the atlas. Uh, but the post-atlas vertebrae were not fused. So although Acanthostega is a tetrapod, all of these represent primitive ancestral sarcopterygian features, and Acanthostega is truly a transitional fossil.